señorita Tita. Your sister told me you wanted to talk with me. Yes, I think I'm pregnant. Oh. Really? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I wanted to know what I wanted to that do is first. Hard. Well, I think it would be good for you to know that before you make a decision, that having this child with you is the best stroke of luck that has ever happened. And to enjoy it the way we should, I would like to go far away from here with you. We can't just think of ourselves. We will finish this conversation later. I think you and I are overdue for a long talk, don't you think? I certainly do, ever since you married my boyfriend. Fine, let's start with that wrongful claim to you having a boyfriend. You never even was allowed to have a boyfriend or get married. According to who? You or Mama? According to family, family tradition, tradition which you were breaking. Mama. See what you've done? You won't tell you are shameless. If you don't want blood to flow in this house, go somewhere where you can't do any harm to anybody before it's too late. You're the one who should be leaving. I'm tired of you tormenting me. Leave me in peace, once and for all. You saw how Tegan faced me at the least opportunity. I married him because that's what he wanted to. And if you had the tiniest step of pride, you would have forgotten him out of your mind forever. Well, for your information, he only married you to be near me. And he doesn't love you. And you know that perfectly well. I shall not leave till you act like a good woman, or at least a decent one. A decent one like you? Yeah. But that's what I'm doing. Do you have a illicit child, you will be condemned to hell for talking to me like this. No more than you. Shut your mouth, young lady. Who do you think you are? A person who has a perfect right to live her life as she chooses. Leave me alone. Once and for all. I hate you and I've always hated you. motives when you marry me, the fact is that he did, and I won't dare let you two make a fool of me. No one's trying to make a fool of you, Ozara. You got it all wrong. This is nonsense. I am painfully aware of the role that you have put me in as a laughing stock. As far as I'm concerned, I couldn't care less if you and Pedro go to hell for kissing around in every corner. As long as no one finds out about it, you can do it all you want. But as for me, he isn't going to lay a hand near me ever again. I intend to be his wife in the eyes of everyone else. And if someday someone were to see you two together, making me look ridiculous again, I swear that you are going to regret this and be very sorry. Uh, oh my gosh, Mazara. If you really feel that way, we will never make you look ridiculous ever again. Come on, Tita. Sorry, I was laughing. We will have finished this conversation later. <laughs> Hello, Mama. We will finish this conversation later. tradition which you were breaking. Mama? See what you've done? You and Pedro are shameless. Oh wait, this is not that. Get her. Warm into me. Leave me in one piece. Oh shit. Leave me alone. Leave. You should... Shit. I'm, I'm tired of you tormenting me. Okay. Oh. You're the one who should be leaving. I'm tired of you tormenting me. Leave me in peace. Once and for all. You saw how Pedro switched to me at the least opportunity. I married him because that's what he wanted to. Don't, don't stop it, don't stop it. I'm sorry. You saw how Pedro switched to me at the least opportunity. Oh shit, now I messed up. Don't stop it? Don't okay. Stop it.
Well, you saw her picture. <laughs> Fully aware of the role of being laughing stock that you two have put me in. As far as I'm concerned, Pedro. Oh, shit.